Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another lesson in predicting reactions and this is episode 3. You will practice predicting the products, writing chemical equations, writing net ionic equations, and using your solubility rules. You're going to need your periodic table, you're going to need a polyatomic ion chart, and you're going to need your solubility rules. I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume you know how to name chemicals, that you can recognize types of reactions, that you know how to write a net ionic equation, that you understand solubility rules, and if you don't understand any of these, be sure to go to my channel and watch the videos that will help you uh, catch up. You can assume that in all cases a reaction occurs. Solutions are aqueous unless otherwise stated. Uh, you need to represent substances in solution as ions. And you need to omit ions that are unchanged by the reaction. Let's review how to write chemical equations, determine the reactants and the products. Two, write formulas for everything. Three, put the reactants on the left, draw an arrow, and put the products on the right, then balance. All right, now remember, you must omit ions or molecules that are unchanged by the reaction. Get ready, go. All right, let's predict the products. Hydrogen sulfide gas is bubbled into a solution of mercury 2 chloride. So we have hydrogen sulfide gas, and that would be H2S. And then we are going to bubble that into a solution of mercury 2 chloride. And so mercury 2 chloride, now mercury 2 means that it has a plus 2 charge. So don't get it mixed up with the mercury 1, just because mercury 1 has a 2 on it. All right, there's our hydrogen and our uh, sulfur, and our mercury and our chloride. The ions uh, will match up, and we'll get hydrogen chloride and mercury uh, two sulfide. All right, and that's a double replacement reaction. Now let's balance the equation. We have two chlorine on this side. Let's go over here and uh, change that to two. Now remember, you can only change the coefficients, not the subscripts and it's balanced. Wow, that worked out real nice. Now let's look at the net ionic equation. Let's go ahead and write it all out. And let's look for some spectator ions. Oh, there's our spectator ions. Take them out and rewrite it. There's our net ionic equation. All right, you wrote uh, formulas. You, you reviewed the rules for writing equations. You practiced writing chemical equations. You predicted the products. You used the solubility rules. And if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get the latest lessons. Happy Ions, y'all.